Hello everybody, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Startup Company, shall we? Saw this game on Steam, and it reminded me of another game, uh, which actually this game predates it, which is Startup Panic, but it looks a little bit more, um, less cartoony, I guess is the way I would put it, and more like The Sims, kind of. So I'm excited to see how this management game plays out, so let's go. All right, we're going to start a new game here, and um, we're going to do career mode because it's recommended for new players, and it starts you at the age of 18 and continues till you retire at 67. Ooh, the old 67 retirement age, huh? All right. Um, let's do this. We're going to call our company um, something different. So, um, incompetent. Incompetent. Incompetent Inc. There it is. All right. Um, and we're going to select this. And we're going to go next. And what's Avatar that's good for us? This is pretty good, although I'd like a beard. Um, our CEO is uh, Dr. Incompetent. And um, the backstory, ex-designer, with your background as a designer, you can help produce graphical components for building your new website. Nice. Ex-developer. X manager, X designer. Um, I'm going to be an X developer and say that sounds good. That looks like me. And uh, let's go next. And now we need to configure our website. Choose a name for your website. Um, okay, so this is called in. Um, Incompetent tube, right? So it's just bad television. Um, and can we change the logo? Oh, goodness, we can. Look at these fascinating logos. Uh, is there an I? Let's see. I see different letters, right? Is there a... Well, what would be the best for us? Incompetent. Doctor... Um, oh yeah, look at this one. It's like a circle with an eye inside. Oh yeah, that's great. And the social media competitors, we've got Latergram, Jitter, and Friendbook. And, um... Oh, do we want to be social media, a streaming service, um, a shopping platform, a video sharing service... Or a gaming platform. Uh, <laughs> bad old games. That's hilarious. Um, okay. Um, I guess we'll make games. So we're going to... If we're making games, then... Um, Incompetent Gaming is our company name. and Or our website. And we're going to be gaming. And just going to click start. Um, hi there. Nice to meet you. My name is Pam, and I'm your new advisor from Johnson Invest. Nice to meet you, Pam. Have you noticed the milestones underneath the website? No, I haven't. Every time you complete a milestone, a payment will be made instantly. I have to say that's terrific. I like getting paid. Start by getting an office. We recommend that you rent the office at 4 West Bridge Street, downtown. Okay. So they want us to get an office. And I can see that here's the map. And um, this is the one that they're recommending down here. So it uh, can have 10 workstations. It has one floor. It's 10000 up front. I've got 15000 That's quite expensive. And it's going to cost me 3000 a month. So we have about one month to make this work before... We get crushed. All right, uh, let's rent it. We did it. Oh, but wait a minute. Boom. As she was talking about, we got a milestone. So we got an influx of $45,000 for renting our first apartment. And that's terrific. I have to say our apartment looks uh, great. Or our office, rather, looks great. We've got a couple of windows. Key for just giving that prison-style feel. 
and we have uh, a coffee and donut espresso shop right next door, which is good for uh, getting our employees fueled and letting them understand that nothing is gratis at Incompetent Gaming. You must pie with your own paycheck everything that you're going to eat, and you can do that next door, please. Good job reaching your first milestone. Next, we need to get you seated on a desk. Well, at a desk, maybe not. I mean, I could sit on the desk, I suppose. Go to the purchase menu and buy a beginner desk. Then click on the desk and seat yourself. Okay, purchase menu. Um, I guess this is it with the shopping cart. And um, we need to buy a desk, the beginner desk, as they said. And we can put this down. It says press R or right click to rotate items. And press delete to remove items okay um well i don't know about you know the the efficiency but i'm going to put it by this window so i can stare at this brick wall um and then be happy and then click on the desk and seat yourself okay so i click this people icon here's me and oh i got another milestone seat the ceo at a desk <laughs> Look at this. Recruitment. Start headhunting. I love the, uh, you know, business jargon of, of hiring employees away from another company by headhunting them. It's pretty hysterical. Now, we don't want to do that right now, though. It's fantastic. Remember to buy and seat them at a desk. All right. So here's me. I'm at a desk. Um, now we're ready to hire some employees. Click on your CEO and select headhunt. All right, let's do that then. Um, remember to buy and seat them at a desk. All right, so what do we need? Um, we need... Uh, I'm a developer, so we probably need uh, a researcher, I guess, to research new features and frameworks. Or, no, let's get a designer. Start headhunting. Um, okay. And the game is paused. All right. Um the next milestone. Oh, what's the next milestone say? Sorry. Um, hire one designer and one developer. Oh, okay, great. Um, and then I need to hire someone else. Can I... Can I do another headhunt? No, I can't. Okay, well, let's unpause it, I guess. Alright. Um, I'm, I'm doing the headhunting right now. Um... Okay. I'm looking around the map. Uh, you can use the arrow keys to move around. Um, I'm going to click here. And... Um, yeah, I can only hire one at a time, apparently. Okay. And so let's go ahead and just get them a desk. Preemptively. And you can sit next to me. Um, and then let's buy one more desk for the other person, and then there, we've got a little we've got some desks with some really really lime green chairs and we're going, we're, oh let me unpause it and there we go I'm going to speed it up actually even more, double speed and let's see did we do it? Um, yes, we hired a beginner um, and uh, let's see she... Oh, I see. Um, wow. Okay, so Lura Floyd is a beginner designer working at Alatada. She's 36 years old. Her speed is 87% out of a total 188%, which is crazy. Um, let's just say that we'll give you... I don't even know what I should give her. You know what I mean? Like, on the slider. I think... Um, she has no expectations... I have no frame of reference, though. Uh, can I talk to you about this? Not really. All right. Um, so let's just try to give her, like, uh, you know, $500 a month. She was offended and left negotiation. Okay, that's bad. Um, she wants more than that. All right, let's, let's keep headhunting then. Let's try to figure this out. Apparently, 500 a month is not a good wage um, at my startup. All right, I'm going to... Oh, I went home. 
All right, we hired some beginners. All right, this guy is fast. 109 speed, Lester. Uh, he's 20 years old, and he's working at YouTube. What about, like, um... I mean, is the middle, like, middle of the road salary that I should be giving this guy? What about... 3000 a month? He counter-offered for... 5200 a month. All right, so let's counter offer again at um, 4400 a month. And he wants 4700 a month. All right, um, I'll give you 4600. He accepted. All right, I don't even know if that's good or bad, but that's how much we're paying this guy. Um, fantastic. And then uh, I'm at home. And then I don't need another designer. And so I need to cancel this and start head headhunting for a developer. Okay. And we'll go ahead and just unpause it. What's the time machine? Oh, did it just go to the next day? Okay. Um, I'll just let it... What time do I come in? Eight? All right, great. And then let's go here and let's select this guy. And he's going to be... Um, I don't know. I can make a wireframe, a blueprint, or a graphics component. Let's do a graphics component, I guess. I have no idea what I'm doing, by the way. I'm just going to hire these people. So he's working on the graphics component. We're headhunting employees. Who do we find? Oh, this is a good... Um, John Weber is a 19-year-old uh, developer. Let's offer him, uh, you know, 3500 And he wants 5500 Sure, um, you can have uh, 4,400 and 5,000. All right, and then uh, we'll go up to 47. And he accepted. All right, great. All right, so now I want to stop headhunting. And we're going to go to this desk, and we're going to select this guy, and we got the milestone. So we got 5,000, which is not actually very good. Um, but, okay. Well done hiring your first employees. Next, we need to do some researching. In order to get started with our website, go to the research menu and select the features tab and research a landing page. I'll get back to you when you're done. Okay. So we're going to go to the research tab and we need to make a landing page. So, uh, she says features and landing page. Unlock. Confirm. Milestone completed. All right, so we got another extra 5,000. Um, you now know how to research, kind of. You can only unlock stuff when you have available research points. The points are generated by researchers, but we will look at this later. Now it's time to add the landing page to our new website. Click your website in the top right corner and select the Features tab. Okay, select an empty feature slot. Next, click to add the landing page. When you're done, upgrade the landing page to level 1 so that you can increase your website's potential users. This number indicates how many registered users you can attract. To upgrade the landing page, you will need your employees to produce the required components. Okay. So she says, um, click the website in the top right corner. Alright. Um, where is that? Is this it? Create website? Oh, okay. Well, that's not what I can do. Um, click the website. Finance, research, inventory, purchase item, employees, company, competitors, outsourcing. Top. What is this? Help. Um, oh, you can zoom? Oh, with the plus keys. Cool. Uh, Alright, maybe she meant research. And then I click, like, uh... No. No. Um, I don't know what she means. Click my website. Is this it? Okay. Here's maybe my website in the top right corner. Features. And then I say add a feature. And then I say add the landing page. And um, we need to upgrade it. In order to do that, we need a UI component, a backend component, a blueprint component, and a graphics component. Okay, um, so we can do that. 
So we're going to need to have him build up uh, the UI component. And then we're going to need me to make... Um, can't I just, like, do something else? Um, I can't... Wow, interesting. So the, the CEO, I can't, like, code stuff or produce stuff. Use your training to increase your employee's speed. Once the employee is at maximum speed, you'll be able to upgrade the employee to the next level. I get, Do I want to train the people I have? No, I think I want to start... Um, I think I need another employee, right? It, it didn't say that I necessarily did, but... Um, I don't know. I'll get a researcher. All right, here we go. All right, how, did we get anybody good? Not yet. And, okay, this person is good. Alan Gregory. Here, we'll send you an offer. All right, Alan. Good offer. Man. Look at that. Okay, so I didn't notice this, but this over here is their, like, happiness with the negotiation, and they're getting less and less happy. So we'll accept that offer. All right, and then I'm going to get a new desk um, over here, and then uh, we'll just kind of put it on this wall. Everybody works on this wall. This is where it all happens. Hmm. Okay. Um, there. Mm hmm. Put it there. It won't let me build it there for some reason. Alright, fine. What about over here on this wall? Can you work over here? Yes. Okay, interesting. Got some slowdown in the game there. I don't know why. Um, alright. Wait, did I hire the wrong person? Oh, God. That's embarrassing. Anyway, um, go ahead. Oh, no, I can't research anything? Oh, they, they sh I should not have hired them. Okay, that's hilarious. Oops. Continue. Well, they don't do anything. Um, they, they give us research points, I guess, to upgrade our stuff. I'll just train them up. Whatever. Start the time machine. Let's go to the next day. And here we are. We're working away. Did we finish this yet? Yes. Okay, so I need you to work on... Alright. Um, I should be sitting at an intermediate desk. Ooh, he wants a better desk. Okay. I finished all of these. I need uh, a back-end component. Get rid of that. Uh, yep. Confirm. Get rid of that. And then what else do I need for the website? So I need to go here. And features upgrade I need uh, a blueprint component so and I also need a back end all right so let's have um, Lester do a uh, blueprint component next all right so I guess I'll finish this graphics component and as soon as it's done okay oh he just goes to the next one in the queue perfect all right that's what I want all right um And then I'm going to just say no and just work on those for a bit. Okay, now we have enough to go in here. And I can select features, upgrade, and upgrade this to level one. We did it. Fantastic. So we upgraded the landing page to level one. Upgrading features increases potential users and satisfaction, but requires more CUs. Okay, what does she say? Wow, your new landing page will definitely make people excited about incompetent gaming. All we need is a bit of marketing to get some traffic. Go to your website and select the marketing tab. From there, create an email campaign and watch the number of registered users increase. Don't be afraid to increase the daily budget. Okay, so we're going to select the marketing campaign, email campaign, and we're going to promote the landing page to any gender. And um, we can create a campaign. And the budget is 1000 but 
let's go up. Let's give it a, a whopping $1,500 budget, okay? And then let's just let it go. And he's training, and Lester Valdez is at home. Uh, should that be happening? Get wireframe on there, UI element, all this stuff. Let's go to give him a full schedule. And then you're making back-end components. I need you to make this, 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 and this. Just make sure we're all doing stuff. All right. And what do we have? We have user growth. We have three. Our global position is number 60. Boy, we're doing pretty good for being a brand new company. Globally, I mean. Hey, we got another milestone. Awesome. That will do for now. In the future, you will be able to hire marketers for more efficient campaigns. Now it's time to get back to our website and add more features. Hire a researcher to generate research points. Okay, I did that. As soon as possible, research yet another feature by clicking the research menu and selecting the features tab. After unlocking the new feature, make sure to add it to your website using the features tab on your website. While you wait, you might want to spend some time looking at your employees' demands at the employee stats tab. Okay, so research um, let's go to features and let's go for uh, video functionality I guess uh, I can't unlock it though oh I don't have enough research points all right I need you to stop training and I need you to start just making research points can you do that for us uh, we have 20 all right and then what do you need what are you looking for buddy um, Lester Valdez uh, he wants a small retirement plan a whiteboard an intermediate desk and a seven hour work day. All right, so let's go here. And can we buy like, uh, no, I can't buy more than what we have. We have closet and we have a small closet and we have a, a plant and a black vase. Sure, let's just put that uh, right there and that should make everyone thrilled to work here all the time. John Weber um, wants Oh, a seven-hour workday and a small retirement plan. Hmm. I don't even know how to give that to people. What do you want? Same thing. And um, he wants a coffee machine. Well, yeah. You got to go next door for that, buddy. No freebies here. Now, he's just, like, my CEO is just um, steadily, do I want to transfer money till I retire? Oh, I see. I need to dump money into my retirement fund to build up for my retirement. I get it. Um, I don't want to be headhunting. Um, change role. Oh, I, I see. So I can become a developer. I don't have to be a recruiter. Okay, perfect. That's how you do that. All right. Then let's just make some stuff for our company. All right, we don't need any recruiters at the moment. We're okay. And we got 25 research points. We need a little bit more, 26. Start that time machine. Let's go to the next day. Um, I am gonna put money into my retirement fund. This is probably dumb, but I'll put a big chunk in there um, and just let it happen. All right, and we have 28. We need like 30 something research points. Uh, let's see how we're doing in terms of if I wanted to research a new feature, I would need a UI element and an interface module, which needs video component, front end module and back end module. So I don't even know how to do that. Um, I'm having people make everything, you know, um, one two, three, four, five. I mean, we don't need that there, but there's everything, right? And then, um, Alan is the researcher. I am developing what? The same kind of stuff. And then, uh, oh, here we go. Now we can make, oh, no, no, that's right. It's the same stuff. Uh, let me just get everything off. So, we have everything that we can... Okay, there. Let's just keep doing this. And then once we get the research... Um, what does this mean? Potential users reached. Oh, no. So I can't really even grow anymore. 
because of what's going on with my website. Let me just make sure that I'm not marketing anymore. Um, we don't need to market yet. We have the max user, like users. We don't need to advertise to anyone. Okay, now we have 32. Let's go to research and features. And what do we want? Video functionality, item listing. Yeah, let's do video. Yep. And then now we have video playback. So now we can go for a front end module and a video playback module. So let me um, first go to our website and features and add a feature, which is uh, video functionality. And we got uh, milestone seven for 40,000 more money. And if we wanted to upgrade this, we would need a front end module and a video playback module. But if, what if we wanted to just upgrade our web uh, landing page? Just one second. Great work, you have your first real feature. Have you noticed a smiley on the top left corner of the features tab? This is indicating how satisfied your users are. Currently, they are not too happy because your new feature is too low level. Keeping satisfaction high is very important, I see. If it becomes low, users will start to abandon your website. Increase your website's satisfaction by increasing your new features level. All right. Interesting. I can do that. I can... Increase my features level. You will need to hire a lead developer in order to uh, create the required modules. Oh. All right. So now we have to switch roles back to recruiter. And we need to... Um, we don't really need any of these researchers. Uh, let me just... Yeah, dismiss the candidates. We're going to start looking for a lead developer. Um, okay, there we go. And let me actually jump over to our webpage and just see what it would take. Uh, let's see, registered users. We're up to 2.5K. Um, let me go to my features. And can we upgrade this? We could upgrade this to level 2 which would bump up our potential users by a whole bunch. And then that time we want to, we're going to go ahead and get our um, campaign back. Uh-huh. And now we can increase things. All right. They're making stuff. They're taking a break. Everybody's at home. Start that time machine. And as soon as we get into work, all right. We're going to check the headhunting screen. Oh, we haven't found anybody yet. Oh, that guy's really good, actually. Or Ada. That girl's really good. Um, all right. Here you go. Monthly salary. 4600 What do you think? Um, yeah, I accept that offer. And we got an, an achievement for hiring five employees. Great. Um... All right, so now what we want to do, uh, missing requirements, blueprint component. Oh, you have to have that, huh? Okay, that's fine. Then uh, make another one. Yeah, well, just do that. Uh, there we go. And then we're going to get a new desk. And we'll just put it over here. And I guess this can be our lead developer. Maybe. I don't know how to make that happen, but here we go. And you're going to be a developer, but I don't. You need to be like the lead developer, right? How do I make you a lead developer? Hmm, I don't. Uh. All right, let's see what this says. Um, recruitment. Okay. Um, no. Hmm. All right, let me check this, and let's just see our features. This is good feature. This is bad feature. If we wanted to upgrade this, we'd need a front-end module and this. And to, in order to do that, I need, um, you need to work on some bigger, I don't know where to get the items that I'm looking for. 
I don't know how to explain it, but um, I, I need to create some stuff that I can't make. I need a... Uh... Now, I don't even see it. I don't even know where I can make what they're talking about. Do I need to promote somebody? I can't do anything here in terms of helping people out. Outsourcing? No. Competitors? No. I'll tell you what. If I'm on this screen and I see what I need for the future, I would need, um, a playback module, right? Which is created by a lead developer, which is a beginner. But I didn't even see that as someone I could go hire. Right? Like, I only saw, um... Only available for employees that are intermediate or higher. Maybe I have to train myself before I'm able to do that? I think so. I think my CEO just has to be better to get a lead developer. I could be wrong about that. We're just sitting here making stuff. Alright, let's start the time machine. Okay, and... Okay. And we have 14 research points. I'm training. Uh, we're trying to get up to intermediate one of these days. Let's go 3x speed. Start that time machine. Uh, we're doing okay on user growth. What's a Jeep? It's time for our weekly stock update. This week's winner is Ching with 2.03. The loser is Gray Man Plaything with minus 2.07. Okay. Interesting. Uh, start that time machine. Okay. Um... At this point, we have 27 research points. If I want to research something new, like a new feature, I'd, I'd need 30. Production. Oh. Oh, I can use... Huh. I can increase this? I don't even know what this means. But I still can't... Um get that, for example. We already have this. Oh, that's too expensive. Um, I need a new feature. Yep, for sure. Well, that's expensive. Okay. Oh, I have to... This is what I need to do. I just need to research a lead developer. It's not that my guy has to be intermediate. I have to unlock this through research. Okay. I had to go fishing for that. I'm sure if I would have just read all the help, it would have discovered that for me. But it's also not a bad idea to get my people trained up. Alright, so let's just try to get to 30 research points. Okay, here we go. And then we're going to research um, a lead developer. Yes. And then now, what I want to do is go in here and uh, train, uh, become a recruiter and headhunt a lead developer. And see if we can get one. Uh, did we hire... Did we find somebody? We did. All right. So let's go ahead and say uh, Dominic Christensen is 38 years old. He's pretty good. 4,600. What do you think, dude? He just accepted it straight away. All right. Well, that's great. And we're going to need to build him a desk. And we'll just put it over here. Everybody gets a nice seat at the wall. And this is Dominic's chair. 
And now we need him to develop uh, a front end module, an interface module, a back end module, all this stuff. But that's what we need. And a video playback. Really, we just need um, video playback. And what's the other thing we want uh, for our website to upgrade? this feature it needs um, a front end and a video playback so then we go over here to this guy and we say that's video playback and we need a front end there can you do that let's see if this actually happens all right here we come I don't need you to headhunt anymore I need you to go back to um, uh, development and just do this yep actually how close are you on training yeah, 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 train yourself up. He's missing requirements. What is he waiting on? He's waiting on a front-end module and a back-end component. Okay, so then let's just go for front-end module, back-end. Um, oops, wrong, not this. This. Uh-huh. But we need UI elements. So then, are you making UI elements? Um, no. Are you making UI elements? Yes, we need these badly. Um... So get rid of these and then start making these. Okay. Oops, continue. There we go. So hopefully he can make this soon. Uh-huh. And he's missing requirements. What are you trying to make? You need a interface module. Okay. Um, but you can make that, right? No. To make this, you need another thing. Oh, no, he's making it now. Great. Alright. That's embarrassing. So we're missing a lot of the components, like the advanced components to make this. Let me just look at my inventory. Okay. Yeah, make those UI elements. Just keep making them. Okay. Okay. So he made uh, this, and to make this, he needs another one of... No, he can make that. Um, we need the video playback, which needs a front-end module and a back-end module. Um, and he needs a back-end component and a network component. Where do I get those? A network component. Um, back end component. Oh, okay. He's supposed to make those. Okay, great. And you're making those um, upgrade. Yeah. All right. And then go to development. And then I need you to make actually these. These. Uh, for right now, just do that. All right. Good. Start the time machine. All right. Let's see how this plays out. Let's see if we can actually. He's making the front-end module. Okay, start the time machine. And he's making that front-end module. All right, good. And then he's making an interface module. Okay. If we want to make the video playback, what do we need for that again? A front-end module, which he's working on, and a back-end module... Okay. I think this will work, actually. Let's just see if we can get there. Those products are hard to make. Alright, he's doing the back-end module. Oh, we, can, we actually have enough to research. We could get a new feature if we wanted. Item listing. Yep, let's have that, and then let's go to our website, and let's go to features, and let's add uh, the item listing. I know it's not great, but we got it there. It's on. Start the time machine. And let's see, how close are we to upgrading this feature? We need just one back-end module. Are you working on it? Yep. And he's making the video playback module. Perfect. This is tough, but he's working on it. 
Oh, he's missing requirements. Okay. Uh, we need a bunch of blueprints. All right. Uh huh. And then this, and then this, this. No, not this. We don't need that. But we need this. Yeah. There you go. All right. So we're working really hard on this, and we're at max capacity for users. So what that means is we need to go into our uh, marketing and just kind of cancel this for the time being, because why not? And then actually, let me go into my web page. Can I upgrade my like this feature, my landing page? Um, I just need one blueprint component, honestly. That's actually not that hard. We should finish that soon. Man, this uh, is this thing whatever he's working on is taking forever. The video playback module. Yeah, that's tough. People's satisfaction is starting to dip. Are you making... Um, you are. Okay, so let me go into my web page, and then let's go to features, and we can upgrade this to level 3. And now we're at 56%, so we want to go back to marketing and and put that email campaign back on. Um, and just try to get more more users coming in. I swear, we can finish this. Come on. Dominic. Get it done. They all want an intermediate desk. I see that. I do have 40 research points. So, can I upgrade? I um, To get an intermediate desk, I need 50 research points. So let's do that. We can get a coffee machine and a better desk and a couch. So we can do that for them. Look at this. We're almost there. He's missing requirements. Oh, but that means that if I go here and I go to features, I can upgrade video functionality, right? Oh, no, wait. Where's my front-end module? Oh, I used it to make this. Okay, I need a front-end module. So can you make a front-end module? You can't without this. So I need you to do this. We're going to take away everything until you can make that. Alright, so he's going to make the interface module. Here it goes. And he's at home. Uh, we're, we're hemorrhaging money a little bit. Happens. And... He's working on the front end module. We got some new Jeets. Uh, Alright, well, our stock is whatever. Not great, not worst. Right, let me look at my inventory. Um, we need a bunch of blueprints and graphics components. We don't really need... Uh, yeah, we need these. Let me get rid of this. Everything but... Um, but those two right now should be good. Okay. And we're, we're back to 100% users. And almost... I think this is the day. Oh, and we have the research. So let's go to research. And let's go to office. And let's unlock the furniture pack. Absolutely. And then let's go ahead and upgrade this desk um, to an intermediate desk here. Let's just give everybody an intermediate desk. It's a little bit of money, but not it's not too bad. This should just make everybody here happy. All right, we got it. And that, that should boost everyone up. Okay, now we, we think we have enough to go to the website and go to features and upgrade this finally. Yes. All right, we got this to level one. And our satisfaction is not that great. So we need to keep cranking these out. But we can do that, I think, more successfully. Wow, look how cool the intermediate desks look. All right, so um, <laughs> we're slowly but surely building our company up. And I'm pleased with this. I think uh, we're doing great for our first foray into this game. And I'd love to know what you guys think of this game. Have you played this? Do you like it? Is this your kind of game? 
questions, concerns, feedback, thoughts, anything you guys want to talk about, please leave those in the comments below. I'd love to chat with you all about this uh, very interesting management game. I hope you all have an excellent evening or day. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.